Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at using conditional formatting to highlight overdue dates. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to create a formula. And if you're going to use a formula as the basis of your conditional formatting, then the formula has to be a logical test. So it has to resolve to true or false. Now, what we're going to utilize in our formula is the today function. Now, if you've not come across the today function before, what it does is return the current date. But what's more, it keeps that date up to date. So today is the 19th of the 12th, 2019. Tomorrow, it would read the 20th of the 12th, 2019. Now, as I said, your formula, if you're going to use it for conditional formatting, has to be a logical test. So what we would say is, is this date less than the current date? So is it previous to the current date? So if I press enter, you can see that that reads as true because that date is in the past. And if I copy that down, it gives me a false if the date is in the future or even today's date and true if the date is in the past. Now, we don't need these formulas in our spreadsheet, but it's useful to write the formula in a spreadsheet just to see that you're getting the expected results. What we've got to do is use this formula within conditional formatting. So I'm going to copy this, Control C to copy, and then I'm going to select the dates I want to apply the conditional formatting to. So conditional formatting you'll find in the Home tab of your ribbon, and then conditional formatting. And I'm going to go to New Rule. And in this list of rule types, I'm going to select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. And then you get a little box down here, Format Values, where this formula is true. OK, now, something to watch out for. The formula that you write has to relate to the active cell. Now, what's the active cell? Well, when you make a selection of multiple cells, all cells are selected, but only one is active. That's the first one you select. I can see which is the active cell because it doesn't have a dark background. Now, I'm OK here because Y5 is that cell, the active cell. But if I'd written that formula and there, but selected the last cell up to the first cell, then the active cell would have been Y9. And so this formula would need to be Y9 less than today. But we're OK as we are. But just watch out for that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Format. I'm going to say, if this is true, give me a red background. Click on OK. And then we can see it. So where I've got trues, I've now got a red background. Now, something else I might do, I might want to say, well, if an invoice is due today, show it in a different color. So what would be my formula for that? Well, pretty simply, it would be, is Y5 equal to today? So let's copy that down to see if it works. So I want this to be a different color. So I take this formula and I copy it. I select my cells, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, paste that in, and I'll choose a different color. Let's go for sort of orange. There we are. So the good thing about this conditional formatting is because I'm using that today function. As the days roll on, the colors will change. So if that does become out of date on the 30th of the 12th, 2019, it will automatically go red. All right, that's all there is to it. Oh, before I finish, by the way, you don't need to keep those formulas there. They can be got rid of. Uh, but that is it. That's all you need to do. Hopefully that's been helpful. It's been Chester Tugwell at Blue PK Computer Training.